I've never been one for podcasts for three reasons. The first is that audio is slow. I read quite quickly in English and listening to something, even at double or triple speed, can feel absolutely glacial. And there's also no easy way to skim a podcast the way you could a book. The second is that audio is kind of an, an in-between between video and text. It is more vague than a video, but somehow still leaves less of the imagination than text. So it's kind of difficult for me to think of a time when I would choose the middle option rather than the explicitness of video or you know, text where I can actually imagine whatever I want. So it somehow leaves me with fewer opportunities to actually interact with whatever I'm listening Listening to. And the third is the notes. Inevitably, when I'm listening to something, I'll hear something that I want to take note of. There's never a good enough way to do that. I don't want to sit at my computer and use one of these Obsidian plugins to take notes, and then that ties me to my computer. And I also don't want to have to put up with like a mediocre podcast player app, and there are a few out there I've tried like Air that just don't cut it. However, in the last few months, I've been pretty happily listening to podcasts, and it's all because I've found something that addresses all three of these issues, and that is a free app called Snipped. I first heard about Snipped when someone from the team approached me late last year asking to sponsor a video. I ultimately said no to that just because I say no to all sponsorships these days because they're just too much trouble for me, honestly, but I did start using the app and I've been using it on and off for about 10 months. So this isn't a sponsored video. They don't even have an affiliate program because the app is free, but I'm talking about it anyway, because it's actually pretty cool. Snipped is a podcast player app for mobile devices. It supports iOS and Android, and it has a lot of features, but the two that really sold me on it are one, it's AI powered in a way that's actually useful and not gimmicky, and two, it syncs with Readwise. So let me show you what that looks like on my actual phone. This is the Snipped app. It looks pretty much like a standard podcast player app. You've got your podcasts here. You have downloads and things that are in progress and favorites that you've got. All the podcasts that I subscribe to are here. You can also have groups. So I've subscribed to, for example, the productivity one, and then it shows me just little snippets of these podcasts that they think that I might be interested in. So that part is cool. I'm in productivity and also this tech talk one. Snipped uses a combination of ChatGPT, Whisper, and some other forks of open source AI modules. And all of these combine to give some pretty awesome results. The first is that every podcast that is in English, unfortunately it's English only, is transcribed. So let's have a look at what that looks like. So I'm going into Mastering Dungeons here by Mike Shea. Now you can see that some of the podcasts already have the AI features turned on. So for example, if I, you know, look into this Cal Newport one because it's pretty popular, I haven't listened to this, but there are already AI features. What that means is everything's already transcribed, but I'm going to show you what it looks like when it isn't. It will say request AI features there and I just click on that and it will take 15 to 30 minutes to get that to me. So then let's flip into one that already has that just so we don't actually have to wait the 15 to 30 minutes. So let's look at this one by Cal Newport. There are chapters. So all everything here before I, you've even listened to it already has chapters. So this works kind of like the timestamps in a YouTube video, the ones that I make down there so you can skip really easily to the part that interests you. And it works kind of the same way. So I'll just click on this how to reduce friction part. And there it is. And you can make this faster as well. You can make it up to 3%, three times at least. And you can also, while you're listening to the podcast, you can flip to the transcript part and it's actually going to be highlighting the words as it's saying it. Now let's talk about a snip. A snip is a moment of time in a podcast where you feel like you want to record it or, or just make a note of it for later. It's kind of like highlighting. So let's say that I thought that that was really interesting. So I'm going to click create snip here. And now it's generating the key takeaways for that snip. But let's say I still want to change which part of the podcast actually got highlighted or snipped. So then I would go into edit here. Then I can choose which part of it is actually going to be within the snip. So 
I'm going to tap here. So for example, if I want to tap here and I'll say and there, then I've just adjusted it so only the highlighted parts get put into that snip. And then I can also change the title here. So I can say he's talking here about YouTube. So I'm going to add that. And then I can also add a private note. So let's say I'm going to type YouTube because I know I have a page in Obsidian called YouTube. Hit save, and that's only going to be seen by me. I can also add tags, but I rarely do that. I can go back here and that is now saved. So it automatically goes back to where I was when I took that snip. I also really like that it shows me the most snipped highlights of this podcast. So if I didn't have time to look through everything, I could just see what other things people have snipped of this podcast. So I could jump straight into this because 11 people have snipped it, listen to it, and then decide whether or not I want to continue the episode or maybe snip this myself. This kind of reminds me of the Kindle feature where it shows you how many users have highlighted a section and that helps me like pay attention to that section or wonder why so many people found it interesting. So I do like that because it, they're keeping track of all of the things that people are highlighting, that they're also able to make use of those highlights to kind of surface in a very natural way the things that are important in the podcast. You can also click here and then share any of these highlights. You can invite someone to snip, and you can also just give them a URL of this particular highlight so that they can listen to it too. Now we get into a really cool part of the AI process. Snipped is already recording a lot of things. For every moment, it already has the key takeaways. The newest feature that is powered by Snipped is something called AI Podcast Notes. It is super cool. It is still in beta. I'll let you know how to work around that in a second. But first, let me share what it actually does. When you mark a podcast as completed, if you're part of this beta, then you're automatically going to get an email with a link that looks something like this. So this is one that I had from the same podcast, the Deep Questions one with Cal Newport, but it's a different episode from the one that I was showing. And it already just generated these six takeaways that I didn't do. And having listened to it, it's actually pretty good. It kind of reminds me of Blinkist. So I wouldn't recommend it as a way to like really deep dive into something. But if you've already listened to it, which is the point, like this only happens when you've marked a podcast episode as completed, then it's enough to kind of jog your memory. So here are the highlights that I created and I can play them back here. So I can click play and it plays within this link. So I'm not signed into Snipped or anything. It's just going to play that part of the podcast that I snipped. And if I then click into it, it's going to show this larger two minute snip. And then it has the key takeaways there of the snip, not of the episode, because that's different. And then it also has the transcript here and the episode notes. So the show notes for the episode as a whole. So there's quite a bit here, and this link is just something that is very easily accessible to everybody. So I, you don't have to have a Snipped account to do this. There isn't even a web app for Snipped. So this link is very portable and easy to share with other people. And I really like the social aspect of it. So the AI Podcasts feature is already available, but only to some people. There is a wait list for it, and they're still testing it out. You get the drill. Now, even though there is a waitlist though, I got an invitation code. So if you use it, then you can actually just jump to the front of the line and get access to it now. The invite code is Nicole. I'm going to put a link in the description below. So you can just click on that. This is a free app. So there's really no harm in trying it out for yourself. It's been a few minutes now, and so I wanted to go back and look at this Mastering Dungeons one. This is the podcast that I had requested AI features of, so I wanted to show you what it looks like fresh off of this AI processing. So already there are AI chapters, and this is doing a pretty good job, actually. I mean, even at recognizing some of the specific terminology for D&D. &D. Um, okay, so it got like this one, Beetle and Grimm is not quite right, but hey, it did pretty good, Baldur's Gate, you know, there's a lot of things here that they did a pretty good job at transcribing. 
And so if we play that, now we'll see the transcript here and everything there is going to be um, transcribed and easily highlighted and snipped. And while I was doing that, I had marked the episode that we were looking at as completed and here are the takeaways. So let's have a look at that. I am using the ARC browser to do it. So you can join the waitlist here or you can use my code to do it. I don't get anything from it really. It just kind of lets them know that I sent people their way, but I don't get anything from it. So yeah, this is the highlight that I actually created. And here are the takeaways that I put on it. Now, unfortunately, the note that I wrote doesn't go here, but they do go through somewhere else. And that's the second feature that I really love about Snipped. Snipped is not an open source tool, but they are very cognizant of the fact that this app is not going to be too useful without any integrations. So you can just export all of your highlights and stuff to Markdown so that you can put it in things like Obsidian or Bear or whatever you're using. However, they also integrate with Readwise. You might already know that I'm a big fan of Readwise. It is a paid app. However, I just get so much value out of all of the integrations that they have it's getting to the point where now if I listen or read or watch or, you know, anything, consume any bit of content, I can pretty much guarantee that there's a way to get it into Readwise, which means there's also a way through the Readwise official plugin to get it into Obsidian. If you want to check out Readwise, readwise.io slash Nicole is going to give you double the trial. However, let me show you what one of these podcasts from Snipped looks like when it gets into Readwise and then into Obsidian which is ultimately where I want it to end up. So this is the podcast that I was just listening to with you, The Failure of Cybernetic Productivity. So it there's a URL here, and if I click on it, it opens up in my browser, the same sort of thing that I shared with you, except there are also the AI chapters here now and the episode notes. And here are the highlights. So I highlighted this part about YouTube. It took the updated title that I did. It has key takeaways of the thing that I highlighted, which I didn't have to do. And it even brought in my notes. So in this case, I had one on YouTube. I know that I have a note on YouTube and that's not always the case, right? Sometimes you don't remember what you called something. In this case, I did though. And that's really handy because now it's already linked for me and I don't actually have to go back and link that manually. So then when I click on it, there's already that link to YouTube. Just to show you another podcast, this is one from The Informed Life, which is made by my friend Jorge Arango, and he was interviewing another friend of mine, Andy Pillane, on service design. And same sort of thing, there are highlights here, and there are key takeaways, and there's a little bit of a transcript here, and also the AI notes are here as well. So I really love Snipped as is, but I also wanted to talk about some of the things that I wish that Snipped did. One is I wish that I had support for multiple languages. Right now it's English only, and that kind of skews my podcast listening towards English podcasts just because it's so useful to have those transcripts and to be able to take notes on it. But I actually would prefer to have some of my Spanish or German ones in there as well. That is something that I've already raised and maybe they'll look into it in the future. I also listen to a lot of fiction podcasts. So some things like Dungeons and Dragons actual plays, they don't really fit that uh, very nonfiction model of key takeaways. Like what is the takeaway of a good story? So I would also love to have something that is more geared towards fiction. So episode summaries rather than key takeaways, like, you know, the party did this and then this happened rather than here's what you can take away from that. I also just want better everything, better takeaways. You know, it doesn't get all of the names right. It doesn't transcribe everything perfectly. That's just the nature of AI. I mean, it's not going to get everything right. But I do feel like whatever mix of ChatGPT Whisper and open source models that they're using is working better than other ones that I use, than any one of those individually, actually. I would also love to have the chapters in the Readwise export. I've mentioned this to the team, and I believe that it's something that they might look into. The other thing is I would love to have an API for developers to be able to extend this more easily. I pitched this to them and it doesn't look like it's something that is a priority right now. However, they did say that they are very actively 
pursuing different services to integrate with or making sure that there are many ways to export your data. So there is that. Snipped right now is completely free, so you can download it on iOS and Android. And I would love to see them have a sustainable business model. They are looking at what a Snipped premium might look like, so they're just getting feedback right now. At some point, I hope that they do release something that is good value for money. But in the meantime, I think this is a really good time to go ahead and jump on the Snip train. So let's go over the three issues that I talked about in the beginning. The first is that podcasts are slow. Well, audio is still slow. However, the transcripts and the chapters help me skim the audio before I even really get invested into it. So I know before I get into it, whether it's something that I want to spend time on. They're also the most highlighted moments that help me gauge which ones are most important. So I might not even have to listen to the entire podcast. The second is that it's not as interactive. Snipped makes that so much better because having the transcript there gives me like engages another sense of mine. So I'm listening to it, but I'm also reading the transcript and I'm much faster when I'm reading and it just is a lot more engaging to have the two senses that are engaged. And the third thing with podcasts is that usually there's a good way to take notes and snipped completely blows that out of the water because snipping is really easy. It is a transcript. So once it's in text, then everything is just a highlight and that automatically goes to Readwise and then to Obsidian. So I have this nice little loop where I listen to something, I hit snipped, I adjust those little sliders so that I get just what I want. I put in any notes that I want to put in there if I want to, and then and I don't even have to worry about it. Later, when I'm ready to look at it in Obsidian, it's there appropriately tagged by Readwise, and it already has some key takeaways so that when I look at the podcast later and I want to summarize what I learned from it, I'm not starting from nothing. The AI podcast notes is also a trigger because it emails me that, that they're there, and I look at the takeaways and my highlights and at least there's like a rough outline there. It doesn't get everything right, but I think it is a killer feature and I think it's absolutely worth trying. It's early days for Snipped, especially since the entire company consists of five people who are working out of an office in Zurich, Switzerland, four of whom are engineers. But after several months of using it, I think it is an easy recommend for anyone who wants to get more out of podcasts. If you're still not a podcast person, which is fine, and you still prefer YouTube videos, I mean, that's why you're here, right? Well, maybe check out this video where I talk about some of the options for doing the same thing, processing your highlights from YouTube videos. Thanks for watching. Cello Melteje.